So I had a case today where a gentleman was having a endovascular, thoracic, uh, aortic abdominal aneurysm repair and the anesthesia part of things is a little bit more involved than your typical anesthetic. So in the morning I went and met the patient, introduced myself and basically talked him through our anesthetic plan which was going to involve multiple catheters as well as a lumbar spinal drain placement in pre-op. So while the surgeon and the surgical team were preparing the graft for the um, surgical portion of the case, we were working on getting large bore IVs. Um, so we placed an 18 gauge and a 14 gauge IV in the pre-op area. After we got our IV access, then we did the lumbar drain. So the lumbar drain is basically a 14 gauge TUI needle, which we place at the L4 or L5. Um, or the L3, L4 lumbar spaces. And it's a pretty big size needle, much bigger than our typical spinal needles that we'll do for hip replacements and knee replacements. Um, this is more of like an epidural size needle. And so instead of stopping at the epidural space like you would do with uh, epidural, we go a little bit further and get into the CSF space. And as soon as you get into that space with this size needle, you'll start to see CSF flow coming back really quickly. So when you get that, you want to cover the hole with your thumb so that you're not releasing too much of the CSF pressure or too much fluid. Then once you do that, you thread a catheter up through the TUI needle, which is going to stay in the uh, subdural space, uh, subarachnoid space, I should say, and basically be our drainage for the CSF during the case. So once you're all done with that, you take the TUI needle out, the catheter stays in place, um, you do some tachyderm taping, making sure that that catheter is secure and it's not going to move with patient movement. Then you hook up the catheter to a transducer. Kind of looks like a EVD or external ventricular device, um, but basically it's a collection device uh, that we can also transduce to see what the pressure is inside of the spinal column. And the reason we do this is because when they're doing any sort of thoracoabdominal uh, aortic aneurysm repair, there's always a risk for uh, spinal cord hypoperfusion. Um, and spinal cord perfusion is based on the MAP minus the intracranial pressure or the intraspinal pressure. And so our goals of the case are going to be to keep the MAP elevated, um, but we can also reduce how much ICP or intraspinal pressure um, is occurring by draining fluid during the surgical case. Typically, we'll drain about 5 to 10 cc's per hour. Um, and if we transduce the pressure, we want to keep that pressure less than 10 millimeters of mercury. This is going to allow for adequate spinal cord perfusion and reduce the risk of paralysis for the patient afterwards.